The situation was grimly put into focus by government leader Alan Shasney at a live press conference at the GIS studios. The unique episode being experienced by St. Lucia has forced the government to adopt rigid policy, all in a fight against the global health threat of COVID-19. Following intense dialogue with the business community and private sector, the decisions made were brought to the fore by Prime Minister Alan Shastny. As of Monday, that we're going to implement a heightened protocol on social uh, distancing regimes. So this, uh, implement, this, this program will really begin on Monday the 23rd and will be in place until March, uh, 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 sorry, until Monday the 23rd of March until Sunday, April the 5th um, in the first instance. And certainly, depending on the success of that program and what's taking place, um, and through the advice of the CMO um, and the collaboration of um, uh, um, government, we will determine whether in fact we believe that that should be extended or whether in fact we can now pull back on it. So what we're proposing to be is, is to do is to, is to close down all non-essential commercial services. And um, in doing that, uh, we believe that we're going to be able to uh, reduce the amount of public interaction. A press release from the Prime Minister's office outlines the essential services which will continue. They include emergency services, border control, utilities, sanitation collection and disposal, supermarkets, mini-marts, shops, bakeries and pharmacies, petrol and gas stations, air and seaport operations, limited transportation and banking services, trucking services, manufacturing activities related to essential products, providers of cleaning services and restaurants and fast food services with restricted stipulations outlined by the Prime Minister. We are shutting uh, restaurants and bars um, down for the, for the next two weeks, but any drive-through or delivery services will be permitted. And again, this is an attempt to minimize the social interaction we're taking place, and, but it's a uh, but also recognize that people may depend on some fast food outlets or some restaurants. So once they can deliver um, or they can have a drive through serv a service, they can, remain, they can remain open. In terms of the private and public sector, um, the operations of businesses that can continue to deliver services under a working from home environment will be encouraged to do so, and businesses which cannot operate from work home will halt operations for a stated period. The Prime Minister drove home the point that this is not a shutdown of the island, rather a closure of non-essential commercial services to reinforce efforts to control the threat of a COVID-19 outbreak. In addition, a strict curfew will be implemented to fortify efforts. When we start this process on Monday, we're also going to be imposing a curfew. Um, so the curfew will be from 11 o'clock at night until 5 o'clock in the morning in the first instance. Um, uh, I have asked um, the Attorney General's office and the CAPSEC to prepare uh, the necessary legislation to in authorize the government to impose that curfew. According to the Prime Minister, the curfew serves two purposes. One, to enforce social distancing, and two, to promote safety and deter unscrupulous activity. In addition, only individuals with badges from the National Emergency Management Organization, NEMO, will be allowed to be out after curfew. Sula Jalfred, HDS News Force.